for the second quarter kickoff. And they've got it here with a first down. to Elliott. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll finally be taken down just shy of midfield. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Jackson on the carry. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to explore right there. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Down carry by Elliott. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. And he'll take it in. 17 yards out. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. The extra point splits the uprights. And we are tied at seven. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Officially a minute 54 to go in this first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. This is Ingram on first and 10. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
On second down, Kamara. He'll get it to the 40. Broke a tackle there to get some extra yardage. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Throw for it on fourth. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he's taken down inside the 30. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Bree's going to come up here first and 10. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. From the gun, it's Breeze. Over the middle, open is Thomas. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. You're good, you're good. By four, ready. Single, single. 12, 12. Into the red zone, it's Breeze. That's caught. It's Thomas. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. Touchdown, New Orleans. Benjamin Watson in the final seconds of the first half. And the Saints are able to cash in for six. Lutz with the extra point, And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. Lutz now to kick this one away. Jackson now to return. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. His throw incomplete. Marshawn Lattimore right there on the coverage. He was draped all over it. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Throwing. Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup, 74 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Extra point attempt here still to come. A 
extra point right down the middle. And we are tied at 14. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Sammy, Sammy. Second. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. A precursor of a big second half. Ingram again, a first down carry. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43 tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing, but with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Easy. But a nice little gain. It'll be a gain of six. And just like that, it's third down. From midfield, here's Breeze. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Elliott. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Second down, Prescott, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 42, and the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. On second down, here's Breeze. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Watson. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very solid gain of 27. Breeze hands to Ingram. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Ingram again. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but 
There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Well, Breeze throwing on second down. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Tyrone Crawford in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze, and the Saints up against it here. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth and Felicia put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. So they pass on the chance to kick the go-ahead field goal. And that may be one they're going to regret big time. And I think the head coach is going to have some explaining to do, yeah. right? Because <laughs> in this situation, you kick the field goal to give yourself that chance at victory by going for it. Maybe you're saying you don't trust your field goal kicker, or maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe the kicker's hurt. So there'll be a lot of questions at the post-game press conference. Makes the rest of this fourth quarter and the rest of this game very interesting. They start on the ground with Elliott. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't throw up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Brings it just past the 15, able to avoid the initial contact, but not much more there on the play. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. For a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. First down, Prescott drops it underneath to Elliott. 
And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain, and it's second down. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Tim carry now for Elliott. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense. They're saying go right ahead with those. Prescott. Incomplete. He had his hands on it but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Well, now comes the Cowboys punter. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 24. And he'll take this back down inside. 